Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we're going to go through the Turtles of Greyskull with the actual Turtles this time. I'm starting this video off with Leonardo, the heroic ninja turtle leader. I was a bit dubious about going down another rabbit hole because I know where's this line going to actually stop because there was a lot of characters with the turtles and then a lot of characters with the Motu line so this could go on for a couple of years so I don't know whether I'm just gonna get the main turtles I've already done like the Casey Jones one um, and I have ordered April O'Neil as well but whether I go further than that I'm not too sure I may go down the actual Motu line of Turtles of Greyskull but not necessarily the Turtles themselves, the Turtle characters at least. But I have got the four Turtles which I'll probably do in separate reviews. I want to start off with Leonardo first like I said. On the back there he is fighting Shredder and he's got his two katanas that uh, join into one like the Power Sword, He-Man's Power Sword. And there is obviously all the Wave 1. So I have got He-Man. I haven't got Man at Arms yet. I don't know whether I will or not. Who knows. But I have got all the four turtles. So let's crack this guy open. Get a closer look. So getting this guy out the box. He is kind of funky looking. Um, all this like pearlized blue armor feature on there. This came separate in the packaging now I'm assuming it goes on his wrist it may go on his leg actually I am not too sure but we can have a look at that together it's not really it's not really jigging me right there it may go, I think it may go on I think it may go on his um so I had to look at the actual, going back to the card art, again to find out where this piece was. I didn't know whether, because it wasn't fitting right on his arm at first. So I thought it could have been his shin. But on the actual card art, there it is there. So it's a little bit fiddly and you've got to really squeeze it up there to actually fit properly. So with the Turtles line, I mean, I was quite dubious about going down this whole rabbit hole route. But I thought I'll get the Turtles initially themselves. But then I seen like the other reviews that I've done with you like the Mayor Man. And I thought, oh, AI, yeah, it kind of like, kind of sold me a bit more. But with the actual features of this, this little bandana, it does twist whichever which way you want it there he comes in this like fair shoulder type of stuff and then his shield or his shell whichever way you want to call it it's got the um, a little holder in there for his weapons so you can just pull let's say you probably have to split this up so there it is, in fact, while, it, while I've done it, there it is all together. There it is all together there. And then if I just split this up. So he's, it's like the... Um, so it is like the power sword, but his katanas. So his shell has got that holder. In. So let's see if the two of them fits in. The two, mine, two just doesn't doesn't want to fit in. So whether it is just for the one, and have one in his hands, but his hands themselves, one will grip hold of it pretty well. Ish. There you go. See, it's a little bit, it just keeps on going wonky when it's split in half. Let's try the other one. Yeah, see, they're not, 
they're not that good holding them when they split in half so let's put them back together So holding it when they're joined, they are a hell of a lot better. Now a shield, although there's only a half of one, that fits in there, the half of the katana sword. <coughs> it's got a little holder here on the back. So a shell can slide in like so. But yeah, with this being attached, this like little sword sheath thing going on. I kind of don't like it being a shield. But it's got these little two little peg holes at the back where it will just fit on, slide underneath. Like so. Now it does come with the usual type of Origins book where you can pull the head off, the arms, the waist, the actual hands and also the feet comes with that little diagram like all the other little Origins figures do have but let's have a look at him without his armour anyway and the way to get all his armour off is to literally take all his bits and bobs off anyway So there he is without all of his attachments. The waistband is all separate, as well as all the arms, uh, the armour on his arms, and then his chest piece is all in one. It just like flips off and clips in round the back there. But you can see the mould from his legs to his arms. It's the general He-Man type of style. It's just got the remold for his feet there it's got like them turtly feet going on and round the back it's got a the actual shell mold now I thought they would have painted that the shield shell color rather than just having it the green and then you've got that big white Mattel logo going on there as well it's a shame that he hasn't got just a normal back piece with the two little noblets for these so you can just pop that shield straight on there and then you've got just like a normal type of style turtle going on I will just add for those who like the comics he comes with this one by the power of pizza and it's got the mutated he-man there on the front the actual comic itself i'll just quickly flick through this so you can pause if you wish but you've got the mouse jaw there coming as well i'm going to do with a review of that one soon well, it's got Teela, Roboto, Man at Arms in the story as well. You've got Krang there and Shredder. And even Skeletor at the end. Well, there you go, guys. There's my little cheeky review of the Leonardo Tales, a grey skull figure. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. While you're there, drop them those comments, do the usual, with the like, subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one and I will see you on the next. Take care.